it's Monday for me. I don't know what day you're going to see this. I am still at the beach. You'll see this after I get back. I just had to tell you about our, our day. Um, I'm looking at you, and you can't see it, but I can also see the Atlantic Ocean. I am looking right out. I'm sitting in the parking lot at the Pelican Motel, and I can see the ocean while I talk to you, which is cool. But I got to move from this spot because I got to go pick up pizza. Getting out of this parking lot can be tricky sometimes. That's one thing I don't like about going to the beach. No matter where you have to park, it's precarious because all the parking spaces are about that big and you have about this much room to get out. This one's actually not as bad as some, I gotta say. I just have to hope that when I get back, there will be a parking space. I got salt all over my car. It's just a film of salt. Lord Jesus. There's this group that just arrived. They're staying in the room right beside ours. And they're out there on the, the little balcony right now. Now, why they're not doing this in their room, I don't know. They're from Virginia. And uh, they're having a conversation out on their, on their balcony. And there's one man out there that has just sort of monopolized the entire conversation. And he sounds just like Boomhauer from down King of the Hill. I can't understand shit, but I can hear him through the wall because not only does he sound like Boomhauer, he's a loud talker. He sounds like Boomhauer. Like, shut up. Damn it. You come all the way down here to the beach just to run your mouth. Shut up. Shit. Go out on the beach and calm down wait for people crossing the street yes we are having a great time i wanted to tell you about our adventure today now it's been a little stormy here today so we didn't go out on the beach at all plus there's a rip um a rip tide right now so it's not good to go in the water right now it'll pull you down the beach it can be dangerous at times so um no we didn't go out on the beach at all because it's been storming and raining off and on all day it's just been you know touch and go thunder and lightning and stuff so we decided that we would go we would go do something else so um we went to an indoor golf cart not golf cart shit that'd be fun too indoor go-kart track electric go-karts i've never done it i've never done it before but it's something it's, it's another one of my kind of not really a bucket list thing, but something I, I've always kind of wanted to try. You know, I've never done that. I had a ball. We had so much fun. Now, it's expensive as hell. I said, yeah, we're one and done on this right here. We will not be coming back because, holy shit, it's expensive. But we did. It, it was great. We had a really good time. Um, did three races. You, each race, I think, is, twelve. is it 12 laps around the track? I don't know. I came in dead last every time. I don't care. I was like a Sunday driver out there. I had so much fun. I didn't care. Whee! I got a little bit more brave in the last one. I went a little bit faster the last time. And I think if I were to keep doing it, I would speed up some more. I just, I, I, was, con I was concerned. I didn't want to go too fast. Those things corner like you wouldn't believe. Wow. I had so much fun. We all had fun. But I had to tell you, this story. I'm right now. I'm driving to get pizza. This is one thing we always do too. Um, my kids don't like to go out to eat, which if you're staying at the beach can save you a lot of money right there. That kind of made up for the the uh, go kart thing. Shit, it's expensive. What? Okay. So, all right. They don't like to go out to eat. So there's a Domino's down here, and at least one night while we're here, I will order Domino's and go pick it up. So I'm going to get Domino's right now. It'll, it should be ready not too long after I get there. I ordered it a while ago, and I'm getting really hungry now. So we, we went to, we, we rode the uh, the indoor, the go-karts on the, it was like an indoor track, so the weather doesn't matter, you know. And uh, we raced against some other people that were there, and they were way better, and that's okay. But um, I didn't care. I wasn't trying to go the fastest. You know, I was just having a good time. I would love to go again, and um, I did find out that they have a location in Concord and Charlotte, 
and we might we might go do it again for real I told him because it was it was a lot of fun and we might we, we will probably do it again not right now but when you do it you have to pay for a one-year membership it's eight dollars per person or seven ninety five you have to pay for that membership but you only have to pay it once a year and like hell well we paid up for a year maybe uh maybe we'll go down there you know go down to Concord or something Concord I believe will be a little bit a smidge closer or not hell I don't know if it matter but I believe I missed my turn I sure did I was running my mouth and I missed my turn I can't <laughs> not only do I do that in Greensboro I do it down here at the beach as well we're in North Myrtle now we stay right back there one time yes we have music going down here it is um it's it's pretty delightful actually it's it's all all happening down here and uh Oh, I'm fine. Let me see. What's the best way to get there if you miss your turn? I don't know. I'm going to end up going by the go-kart place again. Now I'm behind a golf cart. Every golf cart in this town looks like a one-vehicle a one parade. They all have flags on them. People are always dressed kind of funny. They're waving at everybody. It's like a, it's a one-vehicle parade. Pulling up right beside of it. That's what. That's cute. They're having they're having fun. They're down here on vacation having fun. Yeah, we went and had ice cream after we rode go karts, and it's just been a great day. Hell, I had ice cream for lunch yesterday. I did. I had my butter pecan ice cream, which I never eat. I've now had butter pecan ice cream twice since we got here, and I am not sorry. I regret nothing. I'll have it at least one more time before we leave. That's the thing about this trip. Every day. There's no schedule. There's no plan. I don't have to be anywhere at any certain time. Nothing. I can do whatever the hell I want. I will eat whatever I want. I will drink whatever I want. If I want to eat a whole damn pizza by myself, I will. I don't care. Not one single shit is going to be given this week. Not one. It's wonderful. So, um... I did want to mention before I get into my story, my lips, you know, I mentioned before I was having trouble with my lips where they felt sunburned or chapped or something. Well, it got better for a little bit. It got better for a week or so, but it flared up again big time right before we left for this trip. And I, I, I have no explanation for it. It's not sunburned. They're not chapped. I, I, I have eliminated everything from my diet and skincare supplements I don't know what it is and if it's it's really bad um, if it's still bothering me when I get back home I'm gonna have to call my doctor and make an appointment and get her to look at them because I have run out of ideas I've tried every over-the-counter thing you, you don't even need to recommend it if it's if it's available I've already tried it I've already tried it I've tried everything short of chicken shit on my lips that's a that, I don't know if that's a southern thing. It's a joke, you know. If you if you have trouble with uh, chapped lips, put chicken shit on them because it's guaranteed you ain't gonna lick them anymore. <laughs> I've done everything short of chicken shit, and they it comes and goes. It never completely goes away, but it will get better for a little bit, like a week. It might get a little bit better, but then it flares up again, big as hell, just like bam. I I I'll just ugh. So I thought maybe I was licking my lips at night. So I don't really have any way to know. So I put like hot sauce around my mouth. It was all still there. I put it on my lips or on my mouth. It was all still there. I didn't lick any of it off. I don't think I'm licking my lips at night because I wonder like, am I, do am, I, am I doing something in my sleep to cause this problem? I don't think I am. I don't think I am. So, I, I don't know what it is. I am at a loss. I have run out of ideas. They're not chapped. They're not sunburned. It's none of that. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm at a loss completely. Oh, I got in this lane way too early. Yeah, I sure did. Um, videos. Why am I way down here? Videos. I made a video in Bolanos early, early this morning. I woke up early and I couldn't go back to sleep. The next door neighbors that we have on the other side, 
decided that 3 a.m. was the perfect time to rearrange all the furniture in their room. For some reason, it straight up, they were in there rearranging furniture. That had to be what they were doing at 3 a.m. And I never properly got back to sleep. So around 7, I got up and went to Bolino's not long after they opened. I think, well, actually, I think they opened earlier than that. But I went really early because I thought, well, because I'd just been laying there watching YouTube thinking I could go back to sleep, but I never, I never really did. So, I thought, well, just get up and go. Do you want to do a walkthrough in Bolinos anyway? Now it's the perfect time because you, you know they're not crowded. Go on down there and do it. So I did. And um, I'm gonna have to strip all the audio out of it because you know, they play loud music in there, and you know for copyright reasons I can't have that. So, and I'm gonna do. There's uh, a Ron John surf shop. I want to do a video in there. Um, and there's another gift shop I want to do a video in. It's, it's got a nice layout. It's actually right back there. Um, and I might do Kroger, perhaps. We don't have Kroger in Greensboro anymore. They were all um, taken over by Harris Teeter. We used to have Kroger many years ago. We had Kroger. And I miss Kroger. I really liked Kroger. I, I shopped there quite a bit when I first moved to... Uh, sorry. It's a damn call from the school. We're getting close to time when the schools start calling with their recorded phone calls again. Um, but yeah, when I first moved to Greensboro back in 96, there were Kroger's there then. But anyway, I'm getting myself off track. I painted my nails. They're still, they're still a hot mess. But I felt like it was a nice fun color for the beach, a nice neon color. And hopefully we'll have better, wet, better weather tomorrow and the, the rip tide thing will have subsided and we can go back out on the beach. We do have a pool but it gets kind of crowded during the day and I don't know. Most of the people down there are smoking and I don't like being around all that cigarette smoke and I don't want my kids around it. So I have found that it seems that most of the people that stay at the Pelican Motel smoke. There does seem to be a theme to it. I think we're about the only ones that don't. Even the ones in the non-smoking rooms, shit, they sit outside on the balcony and smoke. What the hell? I'm not, I'm not one of those holier than thou former smokers, but to be perfectly honest, it's hard for me because being down at the beach makes me want to smoke anyway. Uh, I, I smoked the entire four years I lived at the beach. And being back in that sea air, just I really, 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 really want to buy a pack of cigarettes. I, I'm not going to, but damn, I really want to. So smelling them out there smoking on the balcony is not helping me at all. But I'm strong. I will hang in there. So anyway, let me tell you the story before my pizza gets ready and I got to go in and get it. Whew. Okay. So I'm going to show you a clip of the indoor go-kart track. This is not us racing. This is, this is some other people that went after us. <laughs> So, I, I've never done indoor go-kart racing. The last time I was on a go-kart, first and last time before today that I was ever on a go-kart, I was about 12 years old, and we went to my dad's cousin house, cousin's house, and he had this big field behind his house, and he had just put in, he built, like, he just made a track out there, a dirt track, big old dirt track that he could race go-karts on, and he had two or three go-karts, gas-powered go-karts. And um, I got to go out there and ride a go-kart. And I was terrified of that thing. And I wish I, st I had a video at one point of my brother and me on these go-karts. And I wish I still had it. My dad had borrowed one of those giant home video cameras. The ones about the size of a suitcase. You set it on your shoulder, you know. Put a VH, test, a VH tape in there. But I lost the tape. I, I wish I could find it. It is funny as hell. Because I was terrified on this go-kart and my dad got video of me trying to ride this go-kart. And I was afraid to go more than about two miles an hour. And you could hear me way, I'm way down on the track just poking along. And here comes my brother. Yeah! And you could hear me down there screaming when he goes past. Ah! 
And then I finally get around to the track and I stop. And my dad says something to me in my country ass. He goes, you can go faster than that. And I, what I shit, what did I say? I said, I can't go that fast. <laughs> and then I just take off, you know, going two miles an hour. <laughs> I wish I could find that tape. It is so funny. That's the one where later in the tape, my brother is running with the, the, the recorder. He's running down the hill and he slowly falls and it just goes down. You can hear me in the background laughing. I didn't even ask if he was okay. I was such a dick. I was a terrible sister. You can hear me back there laughing and you hear me go, I saw you fall. <laughs> I was a dick. I was a terrible sister. I was awful. When he fell, it was funny. He fell and he goes, ugh. <laughs> you hear me back there laughing. I'm a shit bag, man. Alright. So, anyway, I had to tell you this story and I built it up in my mind to the point where it's like, Mary, just tell the damn thing. So, we get there. Now, you race with different people. It just depends on who's there. You know, if you're there with a big group, you can race with. The most I saw out on the track at once, I believe, was five people. It's not a huge track. So, I, I'm sure they have a limit as to how many can go out per race. Well, I was sitting there watching a group that went before us and these people came in right behind us now we had to register because we had never been there before and when you have to register you go up to the little you know the little iPad you know you got to put in all your information sign the waiver answer the questions all that good jazz and while I'm doing that this group came in behind us and you know just I don't know a couple of teenagers you know a couple that looked like they were my age and there was this lady with them and she might, she looked like she could have been my mom. Now, I am no spring chicken, all right? I'm 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 pushing 50. This woman could have been my mom, I mean, if, like age-wise. She looked like she was probably in her early 70s, I would say. This grandmotherly looking type, you know, she had on the little khaki culottes and the little polyester top and the little perm, you know. And she comes shuffling in there and she had this bag on her arm. It looked like a, you know, like a big old fabric tote and it had kittens on it and the kittens had sequins on them and and her name was on the bag and she had embroidered on this bag her name and it said Esther and I thought oh isn't that sweet she's come to watch her grandkids race look at her and they go on up to the counter Esther busts a, a helmet out of that bag she had brought her own helmet and it had her name on it it was pink and it had little kittens on it. And it said Esther in blaze, like bedazzled on this helmet. I'm like, oh shit, Esther's gonna race. What? Holy shit. She brought her own helmet. That is hardcore. What? And my and my sons are like, Mom, put your information in. I'm like, what do you see that? She's got a helmet. Mom, I don't care. Do the thing. I gotta see this. So we finished, we finished registering and we went and paid. And they're like, just stop it. So she had her own head sock. I got, have I got my head? No, I, hang on a minute, I gotta show you my head sock. Sorry, I had it in the trunk. I got my K1, I got a gift bag, look at that. If you spend enough to pay for like a kidney, you get a you get a gift bag. I have t-shirts in here. This was, that was not mine, hang on, this one's mine. Head sock, now you have to, you have to put this bitch on. It looks like a pair of underwear. But it's not. It's wrong side out. Esther had her own head socks. She had her own helmet. Holy shit, man. Her little her little white Reebok New Balance tennis shoes that, you know, I don't even know where old people find those shoes. You don't, don't mind me. This is beach makeup. I have on, like, foundation and mascara, and that's it. You lucky I got that on. How the fuck? Hang on a minute. It's going to mess up my hair, but I don't. Beach hair don't care. I got it back too far. I do that every time. So you have to put on a head. Damn it. I'm not really sure how it's supposed to go. I know I'm doing it wrong. I don't give a shit. See, you put on this thing here. Like that. And you put the helmet on. That way, if you have cooties or anything, it keeps them out of the helmet. You know, you don't have to worry about it. Esther had a head. She had a. Ugh. Huh. She had a head sock. We got to keep ours. 
Um, I went ahead and paid, I did the membership package. Um, and we got to keep our little head socks. But I said, I gotta, I gotta see this. I gotta see this woman race. So we went ahead and paid and, you know, pay, picked the packages and everything. And I said, so she, she paid and they, you know, they were getting ready and then they called her group over. She was with, I guess it was her, like her granddaughters. The couple that was my age, they didn't race. It was just her and the granddaughters and like one or two random other people that were there. I said, I gotta see this. Look at her helmet and I'm just talking, I will not shut up about her helmet. I didn't want to take a picture of it because I, you know, like that would have been weird. Like why are you taking pictures, you weird ass? I don't have any pictures of her racing. I wish I did. This woman got in her little car. She was very spry. I mean, she didn't even need any help getting in that thing. She popped her little self right in there, got strapped in and, you know, all adjusted and locked and buckled in, you know. She's sitting there. And you have to do a warm-up lap, and you can't go. They put a limit on how fast you can go. But let me tell you something. I kept an eye on Esther, and with that helmet, it was very easy because all the other helmets don't look like that. And I, God Almighty, when they take that limiter off and you can go like the regular speed, man, she took off. I have never. Holy shit. You should have seen her going around those corners. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, cause it's tight. It is tight curtains, turns in there. Holy shit. She was lapping everybody. She lapped the other two people. She lapped her grandchildren multiple times. It's like 12 laps. She lapped them, I'd say at least four times. She was going probably twice as fast, almost twice as fast as they were. I have never, my God, I have never. And it, I want to be like her when I grow up. When I'm 70, I want to be able to kick ass like that. This sweet, mild manner, you would never think it to look at her. She looked like she just stepped out of a knitting bee. And this woman was kicking ass. It was awesome. She was squalling. Now, you can't drift or anything. And she pushed it just far enough to where they didn't flag her. You could see the skill in her turns and her maneuvers. It was unreal. Unreal. Miss Esther, I don't know if she's from here. Or I don't know what planet she's from because I don't believe she's from this one. Miss Esther, you have my respect. You kick ass on a go-kart track. I would love to see her in a gas-powered go-kart. I bet she'd kick ass then, too. She'd be, she would drift and slide in a gas-powered cart. That would be amazing. So they did, they did their race, and then we had our third race, and I think she was, they were in line to go again, but we had to go because it was getting kind of late, and we wanted ice cream. So, oh, my God, I had to tell you about Miss Esther. I... That just goes to show you don't you don't ever know about people. Don't assume you know by looking at somebody. You don't. You don't. You do not judge a book by its cover. I would have never guessed she could do that. Wow. And then I get out there and I'm out there driving like I thought Miss Esther would. Like, yee hee. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Everybody's laughing at me. I came in dead last every time. But I had a ball. I want to do it again. I had so much fun. I loved it. I'm out there laughing. <laughs> you don't know it because I got that big ass helmet and that head style going. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> oh, man. It was great. I'm, gl I'm glad it was stormy today because that was, you know, that was why we ended up going because, we, you know, we couldn't really do anything outside. So, I'm so glad it was stormy. It was so much fun. And uh, I think tomorrow we're going to play mini golf, perhaps. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I said, we can't do something every day. You know, mama is not independently wealthy. We can't afford to go out and spend that kind of money every day. But that was awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And now that we have the membership shoot, we might, we might have to do that again. We might have to go down to Concord and do some racing one day. That was awesome. So, yes, I had to tell you about Miss Esther. But um, I got to get in there and get pizza and get on back before everybody starves to death. But thank you so much for being here. You won't see this till later, but I hope you have had a good day. I've had a fantastic day. I'm going to go back to doing nothing. I'm going to go back. I was working on my story a little bit. I was coloring a little bit. I was watching YouTube a little bit. Just whatever the hell. Whatever the hell. But I hope, anyway, shut up, Mary. Go get pizza. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day, and I will see you again soon.